Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 31st tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss files. And uh, by that I mean we're going to study the different types of files and how to run file checks in shell scripts. So files can be character files. Uh, the files that you create through your text editor are character files and they can be block special files. And block special files are uh, files that have binary code in them like image files or video files. Right? And uh, there are a lot of other attributes that you can associate with your files such as permissions. Right? Whether you have read permission or write permission or execute permission to the file and uh, whether the size of the file is greater than zero or not. Right? Or if the file is a directory file. In Unix, all directories are also treated as files. So if I would uh, bring up my home folder here for you guys, then uh, this folder here, documents, is a folder, but it is treated as a file, right? So it's a directory file. And then I have this shell script here, which is a character special file, right? And if I uh, show you this file, uh, this is uh, a file with the extension .dbf. And, uh, this file cannot be opened through my text editor, so this is a block special file. And uh, if I would create an empty file here, then that would be a file with size 0. So that is it. I mean, you guys know the various kind of files that can uh, be, and you also are aware of file extensions and how extensions make different uh, make differences to the file types, right? So I'm not going to bore you guys further on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shell script and show you guys how to run checks on files. So what the script is going to do is it's going to ask the user to input a name and it's going to check whether uh, the name that has been input is the name of a file in the home folder, right? It has to be the name of a file, not a directory. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use echo to display a message like enter a name, right? And I'll put a colon at the end and the slash C escape sequence. On the next line, I'll use read to uh, store that name in a variable f name. Okay. On the next line, I'm going to use uh, my square brackets again and uh, I'm going to check whether the name that has been input is the name of a file. And the way I do that is by using the option hyphen f. So if I put in hyphen f space dollar f name, which is the name of my uh, which is the name that has been just provided to me by my user, then the shell would check whether uh, a file exists of this name or not. And if it does, then it would display a message because I'm going to put this thing uh, in an if block, right? So on the next line would come the keyword then, and I would display a message like uh, you indeed, sorry, entered a file name right and if it isn't a file but something else let's say if it's a directory then uh, it would display another message like echo uh, don't provide me crazy inputs all right and then I'll close my if block by typing the keyword fi I will save this file. I have already saved it. It's called file-test.sh and it's in my home folder. So I will bring up my terminal here and I will execute the file. It asks me for a name, right? So if I type in uh, music, which is not a file but a directory in my home folder and press the enter key, then it displays this message to me. Don't provide me crazy inputs. But let me first uh, create a file using touch and I will call it uh, test. and then clear the terminal and execute the script and this time I'll provide the name test as uh, the input and when I press the enter key it tells me that you indeed entered a file name because I've just created the file test right but if in my file I wanted to check not for files but for directory then directories then all I would have to do is change the hyphen f option to hyphen d right so if I would uh, make this modification then if I execute my script and now provide the name music, then it would tell me that you indeed entered a file name and it doesn't tell me that I provided some crazy input, right? So there you go. To check for files, you use the option hyphen F. To check for directories, you use the option hyphen D. And uh, there are a lot of other options that you have, uh, uh, you know, 
at your disposal if you're running file checks. For example, to check for character special files, you use hyphen C. To check for block special files such as images or video files, you use uh, the option hyphen B. And to check whether you have read permission, you use hyphen R. For write permission, you use hyphen W. And for execute permission, you use hyphen X. Okay. And uh, am I missing something? Yes, of course I am. If you want to check whether the size of your file is uh, greater than zero or not, then you would use the option hyphen S, right? And this is probably something that I'll show you guys because uh, it's very important. So what this if uh, statement is going to do is it's going to check whether the file dollar $f name has a size greater than zero or not. If it has a size greater than zero, then we'll get into the if block and we'll display a message, something like, uh, the size of the file is greater than zero okay cool and if the size is not greater than zero then well we'll just let it be don't provide me crazy inputs okay because we don't have time to change that so I'll clear my terminal and I'll execute the script and I'll provide the name test the empty file just that I just created using touch and it tells me that don't provide me provide me crazy inputs. However, if I would use cat and input some text in my file test, something like uh, uh, random, and uh, then press Control D, I just wanted to type in some text in my file so that its size becomes greater than zero. I'll clear the terminal, execute the script again, and uh, oops, provide the name. Uh, test as input and this time you can see that it tells me that the size of the file is greater than zero. So there you go you've learned to use the hyphen s option, the hyphen f, hyphen d option and it's your assignment you have to uh, create a file and play with the other options that I mentioned that is the hyphen r, w and x and also the hyphen c and hyphen b options right. So if you practice all those uh, options in your shell scripts then you'll be a pro at running file checks and um, that's all I wanted to talk about in this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this one. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. And uh, please subscribe to my channel.